What's up guys, it's day 174 of grinding until I become a millionaire. These are just my daily check-in videos where I talk about what I'm working on, what I'm doing uh, to hopefully get closer to a millionaire. And um, a lot of stuff's been just moving along the last couple days and that feels nice because I think if you look back at like the check-ins a week ago, a week and a half ago, it's pretty fucking stressed. I was annoyed because haven't gotten any new clients. It's been like a solid month, no new clients. Like I'm still, I feel like I'm working too much at Olive Garden. I just felt like I'm on a hamster wheel and um, <sighs> things feel a little bit better this week. We'll see, you know, it's Sunday going into Monday, but here's where I'm at currently. Um, I make, you know, a few thousand dollars a month from managing local businesses, social media, creating their content, filming, planning, editing, all that. And there's a lot of, you know, as I'm growing this and learning things, there's a lot of potential to take that in different directions, whether I focus on web design or, or really hit web design as a branch, like I've done a few websites. Um, advertising, it seems like, is a pretty profitable one if you start running ads for people, uh, create, creating the socials, obviously, one-off videography jobs. Like, I'm building out a system to where it's very profitable to take those on. You know, I have a editor, maybe a second editor coming on soon. I have a system set up, like everything's really smooth to where it's like, hey, the time input's very minimal. You know, the, the upfront investment and all the time and like the systems took me fucking forever. You know, two days ago, I didn't go to sleep at all. I just stayed up straight working on the, the spreadsheet, working on the new social media software, like all of that shit. And so the, the upfront time investment was huge, but now it's, you know, I have a system going that's a little bit smoother. I think, you know, I'm still gonna tweak it, still work with it, make sure it's perfect. And now I'm setting up a new CRM and I'm like, should I, like, do I even need to do that? Go high level's working okay for me. Do I really need to? Maybe not, maybe I'll switch again, I don't know. But anyway, where I'm going at, I, I do that. Um, have a few clients. That one just started a few months ago. It, it's growing really quickly. I'm curious to see where it's gonna be at in a, another two or three more months. But yeah, so that's what's going on there. Um, I serve part-time at Olive Garden. I want to take that away. I was up to about 30 hours a week um, a few months ago, making maybe 4,000 a month from that. And then, um, I make good money serving. Like it's pretty good bit. I fucking hate it. I hate it. It's dumb people, dumb questions. You're on your feet, it's food, it's, it's shit. I hate it, but average 30, 40 bucks an hour pretty easily. So, you know, take what you can get. Um, but as the social media side of things starts to grow, Olive Garden starts to cut back. And I think I'm at the point right now where I wanna cut back to just one or two shifts a week. Um, that way, if I lose all my clients, like I still have a job and I'm not completely screwed, but I'm on the fence. I, you know, I think I'll, I'll keep going for this month and then I'll see where I'm at with things. That those five hours a day there really take away from what I feel like I need to be working on to take the business to the next level, but I don't have it all ironed out, so I don't fully know that yet. Anyway, and the third thing, I have a YouTube channel, website, I do affiliate marketing. I've built that up over the last three, four years, it's been a slow, slow, long process to get that. Like I was telling one of my friends, that took me years, I think I was telling my brother, it took me years to build the YouTube and the website up to the point where it brings in like a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars a month, somewhere around there. It took me forever to build it up to that. And I pretty much got that in two months with the social media stuff, you know, just got a few clients on and hit, hit exceeded what it took me years to build with the BMX stuff. So what I'm getting at is I think when you finally find a niche that your skills overlap in and you can be profitable in, it's, it's gonna be insane. Um, anyway, that's where I'm at currently. What I'm working on is figure, ensuring that I have solid systems to manage clients. I was just doing the math here. So if I have like, let's say three, four, five, six, five or six clients, I can still handle that pretty easily on my own. Um, but let's say I have 10 clients, 20 clients, like I've got to have a good system in place to build that out. And so I'm setting up Asana or Monday, I've got Asana right now, and then maybe I'll add a VA into that, I'll add a my editor into that so I can just assign shit through there 
and focus on what I need to focus on. If they need me, they can ping me, I can step in. Otherwise, I'm just working on my stuff and I'm, I'm starting to delegate, I'm starting to build out that system because that system should be the same whether I have two people in there that I'm delegating to or 200, right? You know, in there, there will be a few people mediating the delegation if it gets to 200. But building that out early on, in my opinion, is just so, so, so important. Like I started with Go High Level as a CRM in March and I've paid maybe $300 for it thus far. But the time and effort that I spent setting it up is it's very frustrating switching it over now to a new thing because I'm like, yo, I just did all of this and now I'm changing it all. And so I want to make sure that everything I do starting right now, you know, in these first six months, first year is building a strong foundation to help me get to the next level. So I'm going through working really hard, setting up the system, setting up the right softwares, just spending the money, getting it invested, getting it set up and making sure that I can I can scale to that point. I did the math um, like today. Yeah, I did the math today. Um, on what it would take for me to net a million dollars in a year. And it's, it's actually not that bad, you know. Um, my, my pricing plans kind of fluctuate and I don't have it ironed out. But like, let's say hypothetically I charge uh, $1,500 a month for a client to deliver the social media stuff. And... I have it worked out so that I'm spending about $500 a month to deliver it. That $500 goes to editing, that $500 goes to posting, um, filming, you know, so I can have filmers go out and film the stuff, right? So all of that, it's building it in a scalable way. So $1,000 for the social media management. I have it set, you know, because of the systems and the connections and the way I've built it out to not spend more than $500 going out. That means I'm bringing in $1,000 a month per client. And then that money obviously goes out to the other things. But we're just pretending on just the, the deliverable, deliverables what I would need to, to do that. And so at that price point, at that uh, expense point, profitability point, whatever, uh, I would need to have about 86 clients to make a million dollars that year not bad not too bad you know when you put it that way when i say i gotta make twenty eight hundred dollars a day to be a millionaire that's fucking crazy that's crazy i can't even wrap my head around that right but when you think about it in reoccurring income you think about it in high ticket shit 86 people doesn't seem that bad honestly it doesn't seem that bad um like there's got to be 86 businesses within a hundred mile radius of me that would pay me $1,500 to give them daily social media content, right? Just, they're there, they're there. I've got to develop my skills. I've got to get better at contacting people and networking. It's also like, if I had 86 people hit me up tomorrow and say, hey, I want to do it, I'd be fucked. There's no way, I don't have the system in place, right? Like I'm, I'm building the system, but I'm not there yet. But I have that end goal in mind. Like, okay, now, like this was proof of concept three months ago. This was proof of concept. I put it out there, got a few cheap clients, did whatever I could for them, asked for reviews, built that portfolio, I still have them, but then slowly added on more higher paying clients that I can work with and do a little bit more. And like I said, three months, so now I'm like, okay, this shit works, there's a market for it, nobody's canceled on me, I'm delivering, like everything's cool. So um, I'm like, let's let's hit it hard, right? And so that's where I'm at right now. After that proof of concept, I'm like, all right, what do I need to do to really just fucking blow this thing up and go crazy and build it out over the next year? Um, but in the same sense, like even if we play the long-term game, if I need $86 a month, and let's say, let's just make it easy and say nobody cancels on me. 86 clients a month, not $86. Let's say nobody cancels on me, which is not true, right? I feel like the average lifespan is gonna be three to six months. Um, I'm gonna do everything I can to give them little gifts from time to time and just make them feel special um, and, and actually deliver. But let's say uh, I get one client a month or I get two clients a month. Just for simple math, we'll do two. That's 24 clients a year. Okay, that's not very much, but in three years, 
four years, I'm at that million dollar mark, right? Million dollars a year of locked in reoccurring income. Not bad. I'll just barely be 30. I'll be a little over 30 at that point. And that's, that's assuming there's no compounding, there's no, um, no variance in price, like that's assuming for the next four years, I just had two clients a month, just two, two fucking people every month. At that price point, I don't raise the price, I don't lower the price, and then I just deliver two clients a month for the next four years, it's, it, it's bound to happen, right? Again, assuming everybody stays, which isn't realistic, so there's probably be like more like two and a half or two and a quarter, but to, to make up for the churn, but anyway. When you, when you break it down, when you put it that way, it just seems doable. It seems really doable. And um, yeah, it'd be crazy to look at this like four years from now and be like, boy, I fucking made it, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on. That's where my head's at. That's the direction I'm going. And I, uh, so anyway, yeah. So what I did today, I spent a lot of time working on HubSpot, took the dog out, called my boss at work and said, Hey, I'm really busy. If I don't have, like, if you don't need me this morning, I would love to not come in this morning. So then I didn't go in until three. Um, and I was able to work on all this other stuff. I think I cleaned, did laundry, meal prepped. I did all that stuff too, which is important. Uh, then I went to work, made like 130 bucks in four or five hours. It wasn't great. Um, but it is extra money. You know, it is extra money and it like that paid for, the the subscriptions I ended up buying today. So going to work paid for the shit, the money that I spent today to scale the business. So that's good. Um, and then I came home, took the dog out, started working on, on it even more. I've just been working on it so much. And yeah, that, that's what you gotta do. And I'm also very quick to like decide. I was like, okay, HubSpot it is. That's what I'm going with, right? And then now I'm going and I'm like, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I'll switch it again. There's one that I thought was really cool, but um, I put a lot of time and energy quickly into a project to decide if this is the right project or not. And then I'm quick to leave it if it's not, if it's not a good fit. I don't get sunk cost bias very much with that kind of thing. Um, but anyway, that's what I did for the day. My goals, $10,000 a month of income from my YouTube, my website, and from the, the client side of things. I haven't even started hitting like so you guys see on this channel like I'm at 1700 subs relatively quickly a few months posting content and making stuff I still have you know I have another channel with 4,000 subs I have another channel with 3,000 I have another channel with 30 that I just you know passively have been building up over time and like I'm getting really good at YouTube I'm getting getting it figured out and these videos I'm putting zero effort in I'm just fucking turning on the camera talking for 10-15 minutes and doing a daily check-in before I go to bed it takes me not very much time and not very much effort and I'm learning the content and the story is what people really care about like yeah sure I could highly produce these but I wouldn't be able to do one a day um, and where I'm going with that is like I haven't even started creating content for the marketing side of things I haven't even started creating that content and like when I do with the systems I have with the budget I have it's it's gonna be f fucking insane like I've gotten to where I'm at right now with just networking and talking to people and delivering for current clients, it's crazy. So anyway, um, there's a lot, a lot of stuff to figure out and room to grow and I'm really excited about it and I think, I think some of you guys are. It's cool to see the comments, you guys are hyping me up and supporting it and um, I love it, I appreciate you guys. And so anyway, that's the big goal. The second goal, uh, pay off all my debt really quickly. I just wanna be done with that. And then I want to eventually spend six months or so in Bali, just living and yeah, enjoying life. So anyway, that's day 174. I'm going to upload this video. I need to quit rambling as much, but hopefully you guys are getting value out of these or at least enjoying watching. But all right, I got to go to, I started to go to bed and then I was like, fuck, I forgot to film the video. So it's almost one o'clock. I got a, my first podcast episode tomorrow with one of my clients. We're going to use it as a way to get content for him um and just see what we get but i gotta get some sleep so i can look half presentable on camera get my fucking hair anyway all right guys we'll see you